everyone and welcome back to Next Stage Designs with me, Sylvia. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this very simple crochet bracelet. today's bracelet I will be using this beautiful 100% cotton yarn and it's a mercerized cotton but of course you can use any yarn you like or prefer but I really enjoy working with the cotton because it doesn't stretch as much but if you are a beginner you may find it a little bit trickier to work with the cotton so I really recommend to practice with the acrylic yarn and then once you are ready come back and work with cotton. I will be using 3.5 millimeters hook. You will need a yarn needle and a tape measure. We are going to start with the slip knot, but before we start, we are going to leave a long yarn end and I have 60 centimeters long yarn end. So measure it. And once you measure it, then we are going to start with a slip knot. So I have 60 centimeters right here. And where is your 60 centimeters? In this point, we are going to work our slip knot. So hold your yarn and like so, wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross. Go under this first one, on top of the second one, pull it down and twist your hook. And this is your slip knot. Make sure this is not in the way, so just put it somewhere closer to you, like me. And now we can work our cord first. To start our cord, we are going to chain two. Yarn over and pull through. So one and two. Now we are going to work single crochet into this very first stitch right here. Insert your hook, yarn over, bring it up. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over and finish your single crochet like so. Now you are going to turn your work clockwise like so. You will turn your work clockwise and when you have a look from the top you will have this V which is your stitch and we will be working under this tiny loop right here. So we will work single crochet under this loop right here. So we will work single crochet under this vertical bar. So let's work our single crochet under this bar here. To do so, you are going to insert your hook like so, yarn over, Bring it up. Like this. Yarn over and finish your single crochet. I hope it was slow enough. Once you have done your single crochet under the bar, you are going to turn your work clockwise again like this but now if you look from the top again you will have this v here and now you will have two bars these two vertical bars so there is one and one more so from now on we'll be working under those two bars single crochet 
so insert your hook under these two bars like so yarn over pull through and yarn over finish your single crochet turn your work clockwise again and from now you will always have these two vertical bars so there is one and two and you will always work under the both insert your hook and work your single crochet turn your work go under the both loops yarn over bring it up and finish and of course this coat can be used for many different projects so you can use it as a bracelet or headband or as a handle for your handbag many many different projects so continue working like this for the length you need so for me i will only do bracelet for this video but you can of course continue and work it as long as you like super simple and very very beautiful turn your work clockwise go under these two loops oh, vertical bars and work your single crochet continue for the length you need for your project so I am finishing my bracelet and in measurements my bracelet is about four inches or ten and a half centimeters so this is my last one here like this and now I am going to add slip stitches all the way around super easy and very unique so we'll be working under these loops here let me just show you so we'll be working under these uh, loops here 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 we go all the way down and then we'll be working on this side of course under these loops let me just show you so i finished like this and now i'm going to turn it like so and my first loop will be right here insert pull through and pull through the loop you had on your hook like this find the next loop insert yarn or pull through and pull through the loop you had on your hook like so we will be working slip stitches in these tiny loops you can see them very well on each side into the next one into the next one and 
beautiful. So continue placing slip stitches all the way and once you get to the end I show you what to do next. And I am finishing and I have last loop here. Like so. And where is this V here? You will place your last slip stitch right there. Like so. Now this is your long yarn end. You move it on this side and now we are ready to work on the other side. So you will simply find your very first loop which is hiding here for me as you can see and work your slip stitch right there into this very first one on the opposite side like so. The next one and so on. Continue and once you get to the other side I show you what to do next. And I am finishing and I have last slip stitch here and I am at the end and now you will slip stitch somewhere here in the middle. Try your best as it can be a little bit tricky just try to squeeze your hook so it goes in the middle and work your slip stitch like so. To finish it. Once you have done your last slip stitch you are going to chain the bendy. One, two, three, four, five and twenty. So I have chain of twenty and now I'm ready to fasten off. And now you can just make a big knot or you can attach the beads. For this bracelet I have done 20 chains on one side so I will do 20 chains on the other side. But if you are working this as a headband maybe of course you will need this part longer. I like to go from ear all the way around the head to ear so I call it from ear to ear this part and then you will add the chains as long as you like. So for this bracelet I have chain of 20 and I will need to do chain of 20 on this side as well. And that's why we left this long yarn end at the start so we don't need to attach it we simply work chain on this side. So to do so you are going to find a stitch here and insert your hook through like so. It may be a little bit trickier because it's very tight. Now we are going to yarn over and bring it up, squeeze it like so and simply chain one, oopsie daisy, not like me. So you will simply chain 20. So one, two, three, five, 19 and 20 and fast enough. So we have 20 and 20. Like so. So our bracelet is completed and 
the both sides looking amazing. So it doesn't matter which one you're going to use. This is the wrong side, this is the right side, but I think they both look really nice. And of course, you can add the bead at the end if you like, it's up to you. But what I like to do, I only like to do the knot at the end like this. And simply just cut it off and do exactly the same on this side. So if you like to use the bead, place the bead and then do the knot. So the bead will stay in the place. Make a big knot like so. And of course, now you can tie your bracelet on. So you can place it like this. And of course, if you like it longer than me, as I don't like when the strings are too long, so you can, of course, make them as long as you like. It's up to you. So this is the wrong side. And this is the right side of your bracelet. Beautiful. You can make it in any colors. And of course, the length you like. Of course, the chains can be as long as you like. If you decide to make them long, of course, don't forget to leave the starting long and longer. And that's it. This is our beautiful bracelet. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Unique Stitch Designs, for more ideas from me, Sylvia. And please don't forget to find me on social medias. I am on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and TikTok. Thank you very much for watching.